You're watching a video produced from Sandridge Energy Studios at Opubco. Well, the nominations are in, and of course, there's applause, there's controversy, and entertainment assistant editor George Lang is here to break it all down for us. Thank you so much for joining me. Hey, it's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, yeah, okay. The Academy Awards included some surprises, but there were also some snubs, of course, right. there always are. Were there any surprises for you in Best Picture? Everybody, everybody in my profession wakes up and they immediately start grumbling once <laughs> they see these things, but there are, there are also a lot of great films that came out this year. It was a, uh, 2012 was a fantastic year for movies. Um, really one of the biggest surprises I think is the ascendance of like Beasts of the Southern Wild, which uh, which, which is a very very small film that got amazing reviews. It was an excellent movie uh, and a, and from a first time director and uh, and and so that plus the huge you know al almost a sweep by Silver Li uh, Silver Linings Playbook. I mean, it is nominated in almost all of the major categories. Wow. So those are the big surprises. And then, you know, as far as snubs go, my number one film of 2012, Moonrise Kingdom, not anywhere to be found. Wow. Also, you know, another one that uh, that a lot of people really loved, and you know, and and probably just as many didn't. Uh, the Master with uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman, who did get nominated in mm. Supporting Actor, that's nowhere to be found either. Even huh. though you know it's like from a from a technical standpoint, right. I think people will be talking about that one for years. Right. Okay. Yeah. So what are all the ones in Best Picture then? Okay. Well, you have Amor, uh, Argo, Beasts of the Southern Wild, Django Unchained from T Quentin Tarantino, Les Misérables, Life of Pi, Lincoln, Silver Linings Playbook, Zero Dark Thirty. You know, right now I would I would think. First, I thought Argo or maybe Zero Dark Thirty would be shoe-ins to win. Okay, the buzz was behind them. You know, Argo doesn't. Uh, uh, ben Affleck doesn't get nominated mm -hmm. for director, mm -hmm. and neither neither does Catherine Bigelow. So I think it's all up in the air. It could be Lincoln. Yeah. You know, but we'll we'll see how we'll see how the winds are blowing as we get closer. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I know. All right. So for best director, what who all is nominated? Um, Michael Haneke for a more Ang Lee for Life of Pi. Uh, David O. Russell for Silver Linings Playbook, Steven Spielberg for Lincoln, Ben Zeitlin for Beast of the Southern Wild. Uh, you know, again, you know, it's kind of up in the air. Uh, Life of Pi is just an amazing visual feast, right? Gorgeous. I mean, I mean, I, that movie. I don't think you could have made it a few years ago. Okay, yeah. from yeah. a technical standpoint, it is just extraordinary to yeah. look at, and Ang Lee might pull it out because of that. Hmm. So we'll just have to see. That'll be interesting. Yeah. All right. So what about best actor? Uh, this is a fait accompli, right? It's going to happen. <laughs> Daniel Day-Lewis will most likely win. Okay. The the nominees are Bradley Cooper for Silver Linings Playbook, Daniel Day-Lewis uh, for Lincoln, Hugh Jackman for Les Miserables, Joaquin Phoenix for The Master, Denzel Washington, really good in flight, by the way. Huh. Um, and Bradley Cooper, gosh, he gives he gives a performance like you expect from Christian Bale, huh. you know, and uh, and and so he was he really came out strong in Silver wow. Linings Playbook. But this is Daniel Day Lewis's year. It's now just it's, a, it's an unbeatable performance. He was incredible. Yeah, yeah. Lincoln was an incredible movie. Okay, right. so Best Actress. Um, okay. Jessica Chastain for Zero Dark Thirty, Jennifer Lawrence for Silver Linings Playbook, Emmanuel Riva for Amor, uh, Kuvanjane Wallace for Beasts of the Southern Wild, and Naomi Watts for The Impossible. I mean, you've, it, this year you have Emmanuel Riva, uh, the oldest yeah. actress nominated. You have Kuvanjane <laughs> Wallace, who's the youngest. The youngest okay, <laughs> and and what an amazing performance from her, right? Yeah. Um, I've heard there's but, some controversy though. I've heard I've heard some people are, are you know some veterans, uh, uh -huh. veteran actor and actresses have said you know it seems a little unfair when someone so young who hasn't really honed in on their craft yet, you know who knows. Who knows? I, I don't think so. No, no. I think it, I think if you come straight out of the gate yeah. and you're knocking people out, then I don't think I, I don't think there's any qualifiers there. There you go. But <laughs> I still think that this is probably a two-person race. Really. I think that it comes down to Jessica Chastain okay. and Jennifer Lawrence. Okay. Uh, Jen Jennifer Lawrence, she's she's in the room with a bunch of really 
um, experienced actors, oh. and she's just she's just flooring wow. in that in that movie. Wow. So yeah, it's but you know, but really the money is on Jessica Chastain yeah. right now. It's weird not to see Meryl Streep in there. <laughs> I know what happened. Yeah. No, that is awesome. Obviously, yeah. it's going to be a, an interesting mm -hmm. Oscars um, to see who wins, and then of course the host mm -hmm. is going to be Seth MacFarlane. It's oh, yeah. going to be hilarious. Well, see, you know, and that was like the that was the best uh, <laughs> announcement uh, yeah. a press conference. Conference <laughs> yeah. that we've had in years, yeah. you know, I because know it. It, you know usually those things are really dry. Yeah. If that is a preview of how he's going to do as it. host, it's just going to be amazing. It will be. So George Lang has your fix, obviously, for all things entertainment. Check out his articles in the Oklahoma and look at OKC, and of course, right here on NewsOK.com. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me.